Hey everyone, so today we'll be talking about Azure Static Web Apps. I tried the service when it was still in preview. Now that it's generally available, we'll be looking at a simple static website that will be deploying it. And some cool feature about Static Web Apps is that it does the CI CD for you uh, by using GitHub Actions or workflows. And also I know that it supports a lot of frameworks, so like Vue, React, Angular, .NET, those are just few to name. And there are some other cool features too, like SSL certificates, uh, you can have custom domains, and much more. I'll be making this as a series, so the first part of it being just deploying our simple project that I built. Let's dive right into the video. So yeah guys, um, I have my Azure portal open in one of the tabs and you can also see my project that I was talking about. It's a basic HTML and JavaScript site um, which detects some features of your uh, mood when you start the site. So I'll just show you guys the code here real quick. And this is one of the demos that I followed last year uh, on Web Dev Simplified YouTube channel. It's a great uh, project to check it out I'll link it down in the description but yeah basically if I just hit go live so I'm using live share as one of the extensions here and if you see our uh, project um, here you can see like it detects the feature of my face and then predicts the emotion so let not, right now you can see it says neutral and if i smile it says happy and then if i'm like angry you can see that uh, the value is changing there so we'll deploy this to azure static web apps and yeah let's dive right into it so if we go back into the portal here real quick you go here and then just go into static web apps it shows up in my recent services but yeah you guys can go ahead and do the search and it should show up it's generally available now so and if you go ahead and click at create so i have still have my student subscription uh going on with azure so i'll use that and then uh, we'll create a new resource group i'll name it as face dash detection i don't know if it's the right <laughs> term because it doesn't detect the face it basically tells you the emotion by like evaluating the expressions so we'll go ahead and click ok and we'll name it my face app hopefully it's not taken awesome and We'll use the free plan here just because we are, I, I don't ex expect like a hot load of traffic. Um, but yeah, we'll go with the ES, East US 2 here. And the great thing about this uh, is I'll use GitHub. So it'll pick up the code directly from my GitHub repo. And also it'll, yep. And I'll just authorize uh, GitHub here so that Azure can access my GitHub account. And for organization, I'll pick my account and then the repository, I think I named it face detection. Yep, there we go. And we'll use the master branch here. And for the rest of the settings, I'm just gonna leave it blank. Uh, we'll just go and go ahead and click on review, review and create. So as you can see, it passes the checks uh, that it does so now what it would do is not only create the static web app, but it will also create uh, a GitHub workflow or actions. I think we like generally refer to it as workflows. Um, and that is basically our CI CD uh, for the project. So anytime I push anything to the master branch, because we picked the branch here, um, it'll generate or it'll push out the changes that I have in my branch to the live app uh, on static web app. So that is really cool. Like you don't have to uh, figure out the CI CD part of your project. And that is why like I love static web apps. And this is just a basic 
like HTML site, you can have like a lot of other projects. Like I know they support Vue, React, um, .NET. Um, there, there are several other frameworks that they support. So yeah. Oh, our deployment is complete. So if you go back to our home and go to our resource group, you can see that on my face app shows up here now. And this is the URL that we got um, from the static web apps. So we'll go ahead and stop this. I'll do the same in Visual Studio Code, stop my live server. And now we can go to the link that I just copied. So you can see it still is building the app or the website. So your static web app is live and waiting for your content. So if we go back to GitHub and if you go into actions, and you'll see that it's building the web app. If we click on build and deploy, you can see that it's still in progress. It has elapsed like around 60 seconds, but you can see that it did this all by itself. We just had to authorize Azure in the beginning when I signed into my GitHub account and everything else is like static web apps take, takes care of it. You can also see some errors here because I didn't specify anything for like what, um, framework or what type of build settings I want. It just predicts it and puts my like index.html and JavaScript and CSS files in the deployment. And we can see that it passed. So if we go back uh, and refresh this, we should see our app. And now it says, hey, this site needs access to your camera. So if I click allow, you should see my face again. And the basically the face detection thing that I built. Um, so it says neutral and if I smile, it'll say happy. And if I like, there's angry, I don't know how to do sad. Yeah, I can only do neutral. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do it. And yeah, in the next video, we'll go over some of the other features that static web apps have. Um, but yeah, for this video, this was it. And I'll make sure to link down my articles below too. So I wrote, wrote a blog post about it too. And also Web Dev Simplified's uh, project that I used here. But yeah. So yeah, that was kind of the video. And for the next part, we'll try to add a custom domain. So please make sure to subscribe so that you are notified whenever I upload uh, the next part. And yeah, thanks for the support. I'm really close to 400 subscribers uh, and it's only possible by the support of this amazing community. So yeah, thank you.